Hackers can use your local admin passwords to take over your devices and wreak havoc on your networks. And I know so many customers of all sizes who make the huge mistake of using the same local admin password on all of their devices that make all these lateral attacks possible. And well, I've got the solution. Here in the Azure portal, go to Azure Active Directory. Click on your devices and then go to device settings. Now scroll down and here in the local administrator settings section, just enable laps right here. Windows laps is like having a password manager on steroids. And since the April 2023 update, Windows Laps is now a native feature on Windows 10, 11, and Server 2019 and 2022. And Windows Laps can now store your passwords in Azure Active Directory, which is great news for all of you looking to go all cloud. And with that done, all we need to do is set some policies for how Laps is gonna work in your world. And how you do that is gonna depend on how you manage your devices. So let's start with the 100% cloud laps approach from Intune. Now go to endpoint security and then account protection. Click over here and create a new policy. The platform is going to be Windows 10 or later and the profile should be Windows Laps. Give the policy a name and a description and then click next. Now let's talk about how you want your passwords backed up and managed. If you're using cloud join devices, then you can only use Azure AD. But if you're hybrid joined, you can choose Azure AD or Active Directory. And I'll walk you through the AD side in just a minute. For now, I'll pick Azure AD only. Next, we need to set the maximum age of your passwords. You see, even with an awesome tool like Laps, a rogue admin could still get your password out of the cloud vault and save them somewhere that they're not supposed to. So having your passwords expire will help solve that problem. Now the default here is 30 days, but it can go as low as one day if you're storing your passwords in Active Directory. Here on the Azure AD side, you can go as low as seven days. Now most of you have a standard local admin account name that you use. And in the legacy Laps product, you couldn't really associate that user account with a password. Now in Windows Laps, we can. As for password complexity, this has always been a tough one for humans. Sometimes we even try to get a little clever with, you know, simple passwords and then add letter substitutions. But most of your dictionary attacks will shred those passwords in seconds. And the alternative is managing multiple random complex passwords, but that's way too hard for most of us. Thankfully, Laps, like any good password manager, makes this really easy. So here you just need to select your complexity preference. And since Microsoft Laps will take care of generating and storing all of those passwords for you, I'd recommend using the most complex option. Now password length can be anywhere from eight to 64 characters long. And my suggestion here, if you're gonna allow your passwords to live longer before they expire, like that last setting, then I'd want to have more characters making the passwords harder to hack. But in my case, since I'm only letting them live for seven days, I'm comfortable with a 16 character password. Now the post authentication options are really cool. As an authorized admin, you can look at the password whenever you want. But once you log in with that password, Laps knows this. And it can take one of these actions after the grace period. Reset the password or force the admin account to log off and reset the password or force a reboot and a reset. So what's the grace period? Well, that's the next setting. This can be from zero to 24 hours. Now, if you choose zero, then the post off actions here are actually gonna be disabled because the password would get reset immediately. And that's just for Azure AD. The least amount of time you can go on the Active Directory side is one hour. Then just click next and create your policy. Once things get all applied, go to your Windows devices and then look at that device's configuration. And there we see our lapse policy. Now you can go right over there to the local admin password. Click that link, and then you can click right over here to copy the password, or just click over here and see it. Now, if your hybrid devices are managed in Active Directory, you still have options. Create a new GPO, and then go to Admin Templates, System, Lapse. 
open and configure the password backup directory. And here you still have the option to store the password in Azure AD, or you can just manage it in Active Directory, but you can't have both. So first I'll show you the simpler Azure AD storage way, and then we'll take care of the full Active Directory method. So the next thing you wanna do is enable the password settings policy. And I'll set the same complexity and length options just like we did in Intune. And we'll do the same thing for the post authentication actions. And now we'll do the same thing for the admin account name. So everything can be completely the same, no matter if you wanna push things out with ADGPOs or manage things fully in Intune. And if you're going with the Azure AD storage method, the other policies here don't even apply. But if instead you wanna manage from Active Directory, you can use some more options. But for this to work, you're going to need to do a schema update. So log in as your schema admin, and then open PowerShell, and here are all of the lapse commands. And you'll want the update dash lapse schema, and that should just take a quick second. As for additional features, you get encryption. The legacy lapse stored passwords in Active Directory in a custom property in plain text. Well, no more, now you can encrypt them if you want to. Now by default, the domain admins are the only ones with access to the passwords. But with this policy, you can specify an additional admins group. And that can be either with plugging in the SID or the SAM account name, which is domain slash group name. And you can keep up to 12 versions here in your password history. And the last benefit applies only to your domain controllers and that's backing up the DSRM account password, which is required if you ever need to recover a DC. And with all that complete, you just wanna give your GPO time to roll out, and then you can open AD Users and Computers, go to the computer object you wanna log on to, and then go to the New Lapse tab. Let's grab the password here and log on to our VM. Now, once you've logged in with your local admin account, your password will be reset based on your grace period. So how do we know how things are set up and managed here on the client side? Well, you could of course run a RSOP from the command prompt, or you could open up the registry and then go to H key, local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, policies, lapse. And here you have all of your active directory settings. If you were Intune managed, then you need to go to H key, local machine, software, Microsoft, policies, lapse. And if you go to the Windows Event Viewer, and then go to the Apps and Services, drill down to Microsoft, Windows, and the Lapse folder. And this is of course good for information as well as troubleshooting. Event 10022 will have all of your Intune settings, and then 10021 will have your Active Directory settings. And the 10020 event will tell you when your passwords get updated. And of course, you can interact with all of this stuff using PowerShell commands. But you can also monitor who's accessing your passwords too. Just go to Azure Active Directory, and then go down here to the Audit Logs. Now, since there's a ton of stuff in here, let's add an Activity Filter. Type in Recover, and then click Add. And here you'll find the timestamps and the device where the password was accessed, and who was looking at it. And now that you're all set up with this 100% free cloud secured password solution, how are you gonna build new devices and set those passwords? Well, you're gonna wanna watch this video and learn all about it. Happy learning.